please welcome our next TED Mox presenter, an incredibly intelligent human being. I have the privilege of being this man's friend. Please welcome Dr. Petro Kruchev. Kruchev.
Maybe, maybe they're all being paid for by NASA and green energy companies to support their nefarious eco-agenda. <laughs> I mean, just look at this guy. Look, he's, he's got a NASA logo on his shirt right there. <laughs> what a sellout. <laughs> Uh, and so, and uh, it's no secret that wind and solar energy have been trying to destroy the oil industry for years. We all know that. Why do you think that you always hear about the dangers of oil, but not the dangers of green energy? Just think about it. You all know about oil spills. They're terrible. Look at it. It's that poor, poor oil being wasted on a <laughs> useless pelican. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me this, audience, how many of you have ever heard of a wind spill? <laughs> what if some terrible accident occurred at the wind farm, resulting in ungodly amounts of wind being spilled into the open sky? <laughs> do you have any idea how much... Do you know how hard it is to get the wind out of the air? <laughs> it's practically impossible. You think you could get a net out there and just sweep it up? That just makes more wind. <laughs> just picture all the birds covered in that stuff. <laughs> Monstrous. Now, I looked it up, and it, tur uh, it turns out that the average salary of a climate scientist is seven figures. That's right, the average climate scientist in America makes a seven figure salary. Now, granted, Two of those figures come after the dot. But they are still technically figures. Me, on the other hand, I make a one-figure salary. That's right, one figure. Now, are there a lot of zeros after that one? Maybe. But we all know that adding zeros to a number doesn't change it. That's just math. <laughs> and that's also why you can trust me to keep the science separate from the corporate interests. And now, we're from our sponsor. <laughs> mm. Hey kids, have you ever needed to refuel your car, but are got thirsty? Well, your problems are a thing of the past with Exxon Mobil's brand new drinkable oil. That's right, <laughs> fuel up your car and fuel up your taste buds. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, mm. Oh, that, that's good. <laughs> mm. You can, oh, you can practically taste the dinosaur. That's, <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm uh, going to need to rush to the bathroom very soon, because that was very good. <laughs> but uh, let me leave you with these final words. You, it's been such a pleasure talking to you people, because you, you people, you get it. You understand. I, I talk to you and you hear the truth. You're not like those so-called experts who think they're so high and mighty because they know what they're talking about. No, you're the real heroes here. Those people have been ridiculing me for years, saying that I'm dangerously irresponsible because I'm altering facts and distorting data. Well, you know what I say to that? I say that I am a scientist. So that means I believe that we all live in one reality. One reality with one set of facts that we find through data. So when you think about it, I'm not distorting data. I'm distorting reality. <laughs> You're welcome, planet Earth. <laughs>